Hey, how's it going, dude, you sulfurs? Does your brake pedal feel funny? Or do you have noise or vibration when you apply your brakes? Uh, if that's the case, stay tuned, because today I'm gonna show you how you can diagnose all sorts of problems with your brakes. All right, first, let's cover hard brake pedal. All right, so if you have a hard brake pedal, you more than likely have a problem with either your vacuum-assisted power brake booster, its check valve, or you might have a cut or a restriction in the vacuum line that goes from your power brake booster to the engine. All right, so here's how a power brake booster works. Uh, basically, your power brake booster is connected to your brake master cylinder in the front end and to your brake pedal in the back end. So this part goes through your firewall and it's held in place by these. So on these vacuum assisted brake boosters, you're gonna have a diaphragm inside here. And then since you have engine vacuum on this side of the diaphragm, as it sucks air out, you're able to press the, your brake pedals in a lot easier, applying a lot more pressure to this rod that comes out of your uh, brake booster that goes into this piston for your brake master cylinder, which will press in and then push out the brake fluid, which from here goes to your brake calipers. And the check valve that's either on the brake booster itself or on the vacuum hose that goes to it is there so that air can flow in one direction only. So in other words, the check valve that's here is gonna only allow you to pull vacuum, not allow air to go back in the uh, brake booster. All right, now a good check to see whether you have a problem with your brake booster or not is to first, with the engine off, pump your brake pedal a couple of times until it hardens up and then hold it. And then while applying pressure, you want to turn on your engine and with your engine on, you're going to have vacuum at your brake booster, which should allow you to press this brake pedal down further. Now if your brake pedal still remains hard before you place the brake booster, you need to thoroughly check the brake lines that go to it. Make sure there are no cuts or they're not pinched or restricted in any way. But also check this uh, check valve by removing it and blowing through it. And you should only be able to blow through this check valve in one direction. All right, next, the spongy brake pedal or brake pedal that goes all the way to the floor. All right, so if that's the case, you either have air or a leak in your uh, brake system or a faulty brake master cylinder. Now first, let's check the easy stuff. You wanna make sure you have enough brake fluid, because if you don't have enough brake fluid, you're gonna pump air into your brake system, and that's one way air gets in there. Then you should start looking for leaks. So common areas where you can develop leaks are at your uh, brake master cylinder. You wanna check around the housing where it connects to the brake booster, make sure it's not leaking from there. Also where your brake lines come out of it, sometimes you can develop leaks there. Also, you might want to remove the wheel and take a look at your calipers or brake cylinders because sometimes the line that goes to those or the bleeder screw that's on there could develop leaks. All right, so if you check everywhere, you can't find a leak, but your brake pedal still goes to the floor, then you more than likely have air in the system. Now again, air can't just get in there on its own. Either you can get in there if you had, maybe you were low on brake fluid or if you have a leak, or maybe you recently you did some repairs or changed the brake pads, but you opened the brake lines to your brake calipers or the bleeder screw. And in order to get that air out, you need to bleed your brake system. Now, I'm not gonna show you how to do it in this video. I'll probably make a separate video for that in the future. But if you wanna learn how to do that, there's a couple of good ones on YouTube right now that you can check out, I'm sure. All right, so if you do all that, but you can still get the brake pedal all the way to the floor, the only remaining culprit is gonna be your brake master cylinder. What happens is the seals around this piston wear out, and once you press on your brake pedal, you can press this all the way in because brake fluid is gonna squeeze by those seals, and that way, that's how you get your brake pedal all the way to the floor. All right, next up, shaking or vibration at your steering wheel when you apply your brakes at highway speeds. And if that's the case, you probably have warped brake rotors or basically uneven wear on your brake rotors, which could be caused by worn out brake pads. Also a sliding pin that has lost lubrication and maybe has seized or maybe it's just not sliding back and forth as good as it used to, could cause uneven wear on your brake pads, which then in return cause uneven wear on your uh, brake rotors, giving you that shaking issue at highway speeds. In so many words, you'll need to either resurface or replace your brake rotor, brake pads, and also lubricate the sliding pin or replace it if it's damaged. Last but not least, if you have screeching noise coming from your brakes and need brake pads, but you're unsure whether it's coming from the front or the rear, what you can do is to simply isolate your rear brakes by only applying the emergency parking brake while driving at low speeds. And if you hear the screeching noise, then you've found out that you need rear brake pads. And that's all there is to it. Hope you found the info in this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more like it. 
but also consider checking out some of my other videos. I'll put a link to them on this side of the screen that you can click on. And if you have more time, check out my support page. I'll put a link to that page right below this video and in the description box. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.